Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be a preview to our Reading mm-hmm. Royals in their ninth and final matchup against the Norfolk Admirals as they look to bounce back from the 0-6 power play that was damning them yesterday and the fact that Wells was playing, well, pretty much like a man on a mission yesterday and was absolutely bonkers in that, stopping everything left and right and not letting anything get passed. So obviously they're going to need to find a way to beat him, one. Two, they're going to have to have the power play be more organized, be more thorough, and figure out what the hell they did in that game in Toledo where the power play was really good and go back to that. Um, the Royals are obviously still in a good spot, but two and four against last place teams in this month, that's not something you can have, especially while going into the playoff run. So I look for the team to really up their ante. I look for guys like Gooch, guys like Ebbing, guys like Lowe, guys like Deshara, guys like Pat McNally since he's back in the lineup. The veterans to really bring bring the guys along and really step up like we've seen in games when there was, excuse me, a poor game the game before. Typically those guys are the guys that kind of step up and get it together. Or it'll even be a young guy who's uh, Kenny's playing one of his other brothers. So maybe he'll play as good as he plays against Cam, and then there you go. Everything's, uh, everything's fixed there. But I think the keys today, got to get the power play going. Got to obviously get the power play defense going also. Uh, that's something you can't allow shorty chances. Uh, that's not a good thing either. And you got to be able to obviously not allow a goal. Yesterday, uh, the Royals, as Kirk McDonald said in the post game pressure, they fought to get the tying goal, or that goal by Millie. And then I think it was a tying goal, if I remember. And then uh, they give the lead right back, and they give another goal right back, um, if I'm remembering the logistics of the score correctly. But either way, they gave a goal right back after that. And it wasn't good defense, it wasn't good play right after you scored your goal. And obviously you can't have that. That's something that's more of a mantra to the Flyers or pro affiliate um, than it is the Royals. So they got to get back to just playing how they've been playing all season, which is not kind of playing down to the competition and playing well, but then keeping that ante going from the first period through the third and not just showing up mainly in the third. And then those would be my keys to success for today's game. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this has been the latest edition of the Royal Take as we preview the last matchup between our Royals and the Norfolk Admirals as Kenny tries to beat Christian this time, the youngest of his brothers, and play him as well as he plays Cam. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.